A first-class education system is key to our economic future. And we are improving education so that our students can get good jobs and our companies can compete. This year, we were one of only five states in the nation that saw fourth and eighth grade math scores increase. That's something of which we should be very proud. <laughs> Project Running Start, administered by the community colleges, last year helped more than 3,000 students earn college credits through courses offered online and at their local high schools, making higher education more affordable and accessible for our families. And for the first time ever, when school opened in New Hampshire this year, every child and every community could attend public kindergarten. <laughs> We recognize that a high school diploma is the minimum a student needs to enter today's workforce. And we've made it a priority to help every student graduate from high school. Beginning this year, the compulsory attendance age is now 18, a change that is already reducing our dropout rate and sending a strong message to our children about the importance of a high school diploma. To help more children succeed, We've expanded alternative education, offering students options for night school, real world learning, or to earn GEDs. I'm proud to announce today that our efforts are showing results. The number of our students dropping out of high school decreased by more than 30% just last year. And 24 of New Hampshire's high schools last year cut their dropout numbers by at least 50 percent. At the Manchester Pass program and other alternative learning programs across the state, I have met students who are ready to drop out until we gave them a chance to earn their high school diplomas in a way that works for them. Now these same students are going on to college or getting good jobs. We are going to give every child in New Hampshire that same chance to succeed. We cannot and we will not be satisfied until all New Hampshire students graduate from high school. I continue to believe that we live in the greatest state, in the greatest country in the world. <laughs> New Hampshire continuously ranks as one of the safest states, one of the healthiest states, and one of the best states to start and grow a business. In just last fall, just last fall, New Hampshire was acknowledged as the best state in the country in which to raise kids. We should be very proud of that.
New Hampshire has weathered the economic storms of the past two years better than most. That's because we've come together. We've come together to lead, to make the tough decisions necessary to keep our state on a steady course, and because we haven't lost sight of the future. The clouds have not yet dissipated, and we'll need all of those skills to continue to guide our state and our people into a successful recovery. These challenging times drive innovation and new thinking, and this is no time to stand still. This is a time to redouble our efforts, to help every worker who wants a job to get a job. This is the time to help businesses grow and innovate. This is the time to continue to solve the problems that could threaten our future prosperity. This is to the time to envision New Hampshire we want for the future and to commit to building it. New Hampshire works best when New Hampshire works together. If we do that, if we do that, New Hampshire will be stronger and more prosperous in this new decade. Thank you all very much.